Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to allocate an elastic IP address to your running EC2 instances. Okay, so first let us understand what is an elastic IP address and why do we need that? Okay, so for that, so if you ask me what is an elastic IP address, so if you want to have a public IP address for your EC2 instance that will persist even if the instance is stopped and restarted, in that scenario, you are going to use elastic IP addresses. So this is the use case why we need elastic IP addresses. But what exactly is an elastic IP address? right so an elastic ip address is a static ipv4 address that is why it is persistent right so this is what it is tackling so if you ever go and check if you create an ec2 instance and stop that ec2 instance and restart it the public ip address of that particular ec2 instance is going to change whereas if you go with elastic ip address Elastic IP address is a static IP address, so it will remain the same even if you stop and restart. That's what I've given here. An elastic IP address is a static IPv4 address designed for dynamic cloud computing. And it is allocated to your AWS account and, it, and you will be paying for it until and unless you release it. So you are paying for it until and unless you release it from your account okay so i will show you how to create an elastic address and i will also show you how to release an elastic ip address to the pool of uh, ip addresses because if you don't do it you will be paying for the elastic ip address okay so let's go into the aws console and see how to create an elastic ip address okay so see you in the console all right so now I'm in my console, AWS console, and I've selected EC2 instance, okay? So if you see, I have created an Elastic, uh, sorry, uh, an EC2 instance with the name Elastic IP Demo, okay? So, and this is the details about this particular EC2 instance. So if you see, this is the public IP address, okay? So this is the public IP address that we have, right? So before allocating the Elastic IP. Okay, so let me copy this IP address and place it into a notepad. So before allocating EIP to the public IP address, the EC2 instance is having this IP address. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is to create an elastic IP. How to do that? If you come in the left hand side, you have something called as, if you go all the way down, you have under network and security elastic IP open that in the new tab okay now if you see in my account i do not have elastic ip address in this particular region okay so first let us go and allocate an elastic ip address to this region to my account okay so to do that you just need to click on allocate elastic ip address okay and so this is what you want and if you want you can add a tag here if you do not want if you you can leave that as it is and uh, this is the region and public ipv4 address pool so from where are you getting this address so by default we are going to get it from the amazon's pool of ip address okay so let me click on allocate so this is just allocating a particular elastic ip address to your account so this is not it completed our job so we need to associate this elastic ip address to our ec2 instance so this is the ip address that we got allocated that got allocated to our account right and what is the allocated public ip address this is the address right so let me also copy that so i'll copy that and paste it into our notepad so this is our allocated eip's ipv4 address and this is our existing ec2 instances ip address okay so now let us go ahead and attach or allocate or associate this particular elastic ip to our ec2 instance how to do that 
select the eip and go to actions if you see associate elastic ip address so click on that it will ask which instance do you want this to be associated if you go and see this is the ec2 instance that is up and running elastic ip demo let us confirm elastic ip demo okay i want to associate this eip to this particular ec2 so i will select that and uh, if you want you can select the I private ip address also the private ip address is 172.31.95.84 this is the actual private ip address of our ec2 if you see this is the ip address right so after doing that click on associate so now this elastic ip this ip address will be associated to your ec2 instance okay so let me refresh it now check the ip address if you see let me copy the ip address after allocating so after allocating the eip or the elastic ip address to your ec2 instance so this is what the ip address is so now if you see this ip address is same as that of your elastic ip address so now even if you go ahead and start this stop this server and restart the server so you will have the same elastic ip address associated with your ec2 instance right so if you are hard coding this ip address in an application code or something so that is where you you can go ahead and alas uh, allocate an eip okay so this is how you can work on this elastic ip so now we, let us also see how to create uh, we have seen how to create it but we also need to see how to delete an elastic ip because if you do not release it to the pool of ip addresses you will be still paying that how to do it let us go back here in the elastic ip address console if you see now first let us disassociate it from the ec2 instance click on disassociate so now this ip address is disassociated now let us go to actions again and the second option release elastic ip addresses if you click on release this eip will no longer be available to you okay so this is how you create and delete an elastic ip address or you release the elastic ip address okay so that's it for today's video guys if you're liking the content that i'm creating please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends thank you